for the second time in a business that's found a new way of misleading its customers. Many people can get into bother over whether they have or haven't told the truth. Here's another. David Reynolds. Hardly a household name, but his businesses are certainly developing quite a reputation for being economical with the truth. This is the HQ of his main outfit here in West Sussex. Satellite Direct UK Limited, a company we revealed back in March, can all too often replace fact with fiction. They were saying anything to get your business. And if that meant lying or bullying, no problem. In fact, that's how they trained staff to treat their customers. If you don't scare the customer, you're not going to get the sales. If you don't bully the customer, you ain't going to get the sales. We'd received over a hundred complaints from people saying they were sold warranties, their Sky TV system, when in fact they didn't need them. But they bought them because they thought they were talking to Sky. So we sent a researcher to work at the company undercover, and she was given a masterclass in cold calling tactics. You know, I want to get our sister, do I look fat in my dress? No, you look beautiful, you look like... You look like a bus, basically, yeah? <laughs> But you tell them they look beautiful, yeah? It's just a white lie, yeah? White lies are good. Oh, no, they're not, especially when they're at a customer's expense. And the company's been in serious trouble for telling them. In the High Court, Satellite Direct UK Limited was ordered to stop their staff passing themselves off as Sky when calling potential customers. In fact, the judge called their sales techniques a blatant lie. Our researchers found that although staff don't actually say they're from Sky, they're more than happy for customers to get that impression. When we first investigated this lot, they were very careful to avoid answering our questions. And having their lies exposed on the telly wasn't enough to make them change their ways, because plenty of you are telling us they're still at it. Just two weeks after our programme, one of their sales staff called Helen Lee. She was just saying about the warranty running out. I mean, they never actually said that they were Sky, but they made, they made me believe that they were Sky, and I had no doubts that they were Sky. Helen set up a direct debit for what she'd been led to believe was a Sky warranty. She tried to cancel as soon as she found out it wasn't. The paperwork arrived, and uh, when I saw the name Satellite Direct, I recognised the name um, and thought, oh, no, that's the company that I'd seen on Watchdog. After hearing lots more stories like that, we wanted to get back undercover to find out more. And guess what? They were still recruiting. Two weeks ago, we sent another researcher into the company to work undercover. And he's discovered it's not just warranties they train their staff to mislead customers about. Oh, they've got a whole new trick up their sleeve. They'll still try and sell you something you may not need, but this time, it's one of these. On his first day, our researcher was told he'd be working in another part of David Reynolds' empire, a business called Not Just Aerials, who'll cold call, making out you need a completely new TV aerial because of something none of us can avoid, the digital revolution. By 2012, all TV services in the UK will go digital. And to be ready, all you'll probably need is a free view box or a TV with a built-in receiver. But Not Just Aerials train their staff so customers believe something different. Can I speak to Mrs. Jones, please? Hi there, um, my name's Joseph. I'm calling from Not Just Aerials. It's about upgrading your current aerial so you're digital ready. Most people simply don't need to upgrade their aerial. But the very carefully worded script our researcher was told to use suggests you'll be in trouble if you don't. The governments are now advising you to get digital ready uh, prior to these changes. Otherwise, without the correct equipment, you won't be able to watch your TV when it happens. When not just aerials called Richard Bangs, they gave him the impression his current aerial would be useless. The person told me that without a digital aerial, I wouldn't be able to receive digital television. I'm receiving digital pictures now on my television, and I could see no reason why that was important. It's lucky Richard was so switched on, because not just aerial staff can be very persuasive. They are given pages of information about what to say if people ask awkward questions, and some of it. It's completely untrue, especially this bit at the top. In order to receive the benefits of digital television, you will need to have your existing TV aerial upgraded. Rubbish. We showed our evidence to Digital UK, the organisation managing the country's switchover. They're angry that a company is being so misleading. I've seen the script that this company is using to cold call customers. They certainly seem to be implying 
that you need a new aerial for, to, in order to receive digital TV. That's certainly not the case. Uh, and they also seem to be suggesting that somehow the government is requiring people to get new aerials. That, again, is not the case. Any company that's using these sorts of practices is conning the public, uh, and we'd absolutely condemn that. We asked David Reynolds to comment on his latest wheeze, but again, he wouldn't answer our questions. So we went to his HQ to put them to him in person. <laughs> is David Reynolds here, please? No, he's not. He's not in. Do you know where That's he is? He's got a car. He doesn't. I bet he's got a big car. <laughs> <laughs> he's not in the office. Today. David Reynolds must have been off somewhere in his big car, and nobody at the company would talk to us until they'd spoken to their lawyers. And even when they had, they had nothing to say. Can you tell me why um, not just aerials is selling aerials to people who don't need them? I'm really them? sorry, but she's just advised me that I don't speak to you. Oh, and you're not, goes you're through. not just saying anything? Right. No, I'm sorry. Right. Sorry I can't add more. But if you go through the lawyers, I'm sure they'll be pleased to help you. Did you see the last item we did on Watchdog about? Oh, sorry, I've got to go in. Well, listen, have a nice Thank Friday you. afternoon. Thank you. Sorry to have uh, ruined it for you slightly. It's very, very strange, isn't it? A man so keen on selling people things to do with televisions doesn't want to appear on television. And you know what? It's a shame that he doesn't encourage uh, his staff to tell the truth rather than misleading customers so that they can um, take money off them. Well, we've heard nothing uh, from David Reynolds since then. It's fair to say we'll be keeping an eye on him, of course, and his various businesses. <laughs> now, last year we...